Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to another sneaker review video. In today's video, I will be reviewing, these are the NMDS1s. Hold on, hit my microphone a little bit. But anyways, these are nice. These are really nice. Now, I really do like them. I have to say the only downfall to these is that you have to like really, I think more so you just got to break in the upper because um, yeah, these shoelaces, they're kind of tough especially on the foot a little bit and uh, but that's the crazy thing about it because I know people will probably say like oh you probably got a size that's too small this is actually a perfect size like no my foot be sliding back and forth inside the shoe so um it still got like the tag from I took the champ store tag <laughs> I thought that was a different shoe the man brought out three different shoes I thought like he did man done slip the sh um the tag in there and stuff dang bro but anyways, uh, no, to talk on these uh, shoes real quick. So yeah, as you guys can see, I did get these on sale. They're not really going for that much. It's crazy because these shoes were originally like $200 and stuff. So no, that's one thing that I'll say about Adidas shoes. You will always, and I mean always at some point in time, get you a pair of Adidas shoes on sale. Whether it's Yeezys, whether it's Ultra Boost, whether it's NMDs, or any other line of, uh, um, they're going to probably be at some point in time, um, Anthony at where his shoes is going on be on sale you get a lot of different uh shoes from adidas on sale but anyways um yeah to talk on this nmd so these are my third pair of nmds i had like the ones that came out back in i think it was 2017 i think it was 2017 like that brown and white uh colorway that came out so um that that was the last time i bought me a pair of nmds and i started customizing the uh the white ones and stuff i wanted to make like a hulk themed colorway but um gave up like halfway through customizing them and stuff one of these days i'll uh finish it up and things but uh no but uh yeah i had pretty much spent a lot of time away from nmds as you guys can see i was getting me a gang of other shoes and um yeah because adidas were the first like pair of shoes i was really getting into when i got into sneakers and stuff so um no yeah then i saw these i seen these actually on the shelves for a minute like these shoes were sitting on the shelves and you probably know the crazy thing about it you probably could go on like goat or stock x and get these shoes for an even cheaper price and stuff because people were probably thinking like oh these shoes are gonna be uh selling like crazy and stuff and people are gonna be wanting to uh get them and i'm like nope that wasn't even the case with these shoes so I wonder, they do got like a gang of different uh, colorways. You can even get it for a cheaper price on uh, GOAT, actually. They have, they have like, pretty much all of them are under uh, retail and stuff. So, yeah, they got like some black ones. They got these ones that I just held up. Um, the black teal, uh, orange, and they're going for the size that I got. I got these in a nine, uh, yeah, nine and a half, and just making sure, because, you know, there be, like, there'd be times I ain't bought ten, ten and a half, nine and a half, like, it'd be going crazy with shoes, but, no, it's weird, though, that these shoes, um, they do run a little bit big, so it's best to go down half a size. I did ask for a ten, but, um, no, yeah, they didn't even, uh, they didn't even have a ten in my size, and so they was like, oh, we have nine and a half and eleven. I was like, all right, cool, let me just try on the eleven, try it on the eleven, or, no, not the 11, the nine and a half. And um, yeah, I was all like, nah, man, these shoes, they are they are comfortable and stuff. NMDs usually are because they do have a uh, boost. I think these ones got boost in it. It looked like it got boost in it. But um, yeah, I think it's this, uh, this like, because there's this like clear part and then there's this like, uh, like white cream part look like kind of material going on and stuff but um no yeah it uh i think that is supposed to be uh boosting things if not then uh yeah it's some sort of uh padding and stuff but i like let, let me let me just look it up real quick because i feel that i feel like i gotta give you guys some actual factuals and stuff so uh hold on for a second nmd s1 let's see if they got them okay so they got like a uh adidas page and so why wouldn't they have an Adidas page on the Adidas website? You can even get um, a white pair for uh, um, $90 and stuff. So, uh, de uh, description. Ultra comfortable shoe that evolves the NMD story. These Adidas NMD S1 shoes continue to build on the legacy of the NMD franchise. The sock line knit upper remains, but the outsole brings in the fresh disruptive element complete with the signature NMD plugs and a lot of comfort since... Uh, plush boost cushioning comes in strong underfoot to provide energy return and day day in and day out. So yes, it does have a uh, boost inside of it and stuff. So if you are um, worried about that, like you've seen these shoes and you're all like, okay, well they did change up the desi um, design. Do they have boost in them? They do. 
very comfortable. I was wearing these around the house at some point in time. I do plan on taking these outside and seeing how they, I probably, yeah, I might uh, um, do some stuff at some point in times and uh, yeah, wear these shoes outside and stuff, continue wearing them around the house. But um, yeah, like I said, they are comfortable. It's just that the uh, shoelaces, they just, they really sit on the uh, like top of your foot. So I just wish that the upper would have been a little bit thicker so you wouldn't have felt all of that. And then, um, then on top of that, they don't have it like the shoelaces. They just kind of sit right there. They don't have like where it's like an extra. Cause I feel like maybe if they would have um, been like more, uh, like if there had been like one more hole, and I'm not gonna make a hole myself and mess these shoes up. But um, no, I think if they had, had like one more hole, I definitely would have uh, um, laced them up even more, so it wouldn't have been like so much pressure on that uh, side. Cause the thing is, is like these shoelaces are kind of thick, and it comes off as like those types of shoelaces where it's like when you're wearing them, they untie and stuff. So um, I don't. No, I just gotta wear these outside and really test them out and things. But um, I can't say wearing them around the house, they are comfortable, they do feel nice. Traction looks crazy. It's a bunch of us. So hold on for a second. So yeah, it's a bunch of Adidas um, emblems, like the late or the uh, uh, retro um, emblems and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's uh, they they went they went all out with these uh, NMDs and things. I was like, nah, man, I really do like these. It's funny because I do remember uh, when I very first had started getting into shoes and stuff. I didn't know what I was getting. I was just getting any old random shoes. And I remember the first pair of shoes that made me like a sneaker head where I was like, I got to figure out the name of these shoes. I got to know about them and stuff. It was these bad, not these ones, but the NMD shoes and stuff. So, nah, man, you know, NMDs, they are, they are nice. I always, I feel like there's always going to be like love in my heart for NMDs and Adidas and stuff. So, anyways, I'm saying Adidas, sign me. I'm like, bro, I'll make a gang of colorways that y'all, like, nobody has ever seen before with NMDs. I'll even try to come up with some own designs of my, like, of my own with NMDs and stuff. So, yeah, man, you know, NMDs, they just, it's one of those shoes where I'm like, they're always going to be near and dear to my heart but anyways um yeah so size you could probably go down half a size if you can't and you only can find your go-to size so like let's say if you're a size 10 and that's all that you can find try them on they might be too big if you can't go down half a size definitely do that if half a size um is uh too big also then uh yeah go down one full size and see how that fits um if you're a wide footer I don't really know because I ain't got wide feet. I guess maybe just go through the... Oh, I didn't even notice the uh, NMD um, logo right there. In the, uh, they got like a lot of different uh, stuff going on with this shoe. Even got like some NMD taggings in there. NMD tagging on the uh, um, heel part and stuff. On the like or back part of the shoe. They ain't really the heel, but anyways um but yeah back to the uh sizing yeah definitely if you're a wide footer uh probably just stay true to size if not go up half a size see how that fits but um other than that though no nah, i have to say that these shoes they are very comfortable and then yeah they're going for like they're far under the uh retail price and stuff so um yeah you definitely could go on goat stock x i guess if you don't trust goat stock x they probably got them for an even uh cheaper price and things let's see what they got going on on there uh, cause I imagine like if Goat is selling them for less, um, StockX gotta be selling them for less too. So now let's see what they got going on. Yeah, I these the same colorway they got them going for uh, like pretty much um a hundred fifty dollars under and stuff. So uh, yeah, for my size. Oh, actually, no, they're actually going for a little bit more um, on uh, StockX. So, yeah, probably probably stick with uh, Goat and things. Goat, they got them for a cheaper price. The same ones, the same ones for uh, $9.5, $70 on uh, Goat and uh a hundred no 86 uh dollars for it. so i guess if you try to save yourself a little bit more bucks then yeah go go ahead and uh go on goat and things but anyways with that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching oh and then also that's another thing i know people will probably ask do they feel like other nmds they actually feel more comfortable than nmds um the other ones that i bought and stuff like the original style and things so uh yeah i guess if you're looking like at two different types of nmds and you see these yeah i would recommend if you're looking for something with some comfort i guess like if that uh shoelace scare like or if it's kind of scares you where it's like no i don't want it hurting the uh, upper part of my foot then yeah go and uh go with some like original nmds but if you don't care about that or got like some extra padded socks or something definitely i recommend doing that where you a uh, thick thick layer of socks and things but anyways with that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching like subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace